So here we are on a weekend, which is fitting because today we're talking about the weekend warrior, the Choco, the army reservist, the plastic one. <laughs> Na 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 <sighs> Sailor soy <laughs> Air Force entree or sustenance for the soldier Which one? Let me know in comments To Isaac and to Cobra Kai This video is dedicated to you Team so where are you right now? listening to this earbuds on hoping you don't get in trouble from your workplace because all you want to do is be somewhere different but don't know how to do it side hustle get me out of here follow yellow brick road don't walk off the moors what movie is that from let us know in comments it's a great one if you want to change your life it has to be at action but depending on what you do it could actually be a curse something so good that it's bad free addictive so the question was is the army reserve the best possible all-encompassing side hustle or is it a curse it'll overtake your life family your sense of reality as you get addicted to the lifestyle and just want more let's start with the benefits first and then we'll move into why it could be a curse for you so what does the Army Reserve give you? Here's a few points. It gives you a sense of purpose. It links you with an organization that you know is bigger than you. It's bigger than any one person. We're all replaceable. Believe that. It gives you an alternate reality. It allows you to have conversations, depth of conversation with other like-minded people about geopolitical issues rather than just football, netball, and all of the topics that you can't talk about in today's sensitive society. It gives you complete exposure to a second brand of mateship that cannot be found in civilian enterprise. It is all earned. It is strip away all the luxuries and put you in the same location to be able to observe each other and watch, is this the kind of guy when his chips are down that I want at my wedding? that I want as my godfather for my daughter, son, someone I know that has got my back. Because I've watched them when they didn't realize they were being supervised and they passed the test. What about adventures? When was the last time you went on an adventure for you with like-minded people that had their own wallet, that had their own equipment, their responsibility was them, your responsibility is you, and you're working in parallel journeys beside each other well, Army Reserve is going to give you all of that. It's going to give you opportunities through vehicles, armoured vehicles, helicopters, through otherwise impossible adventures, through weapons and equipment and hardship and hunger and thirst and sleep deprivation. But that's how we're going to forge ourselves in this crucible of mateship. There's even the opportunity to travel abroad and represent your country with your name on your chest and the Australian flag on your arm. How good's that? Imagine the new version of you, the self-esteem, the pride internally, we don't express it, that you're going to have when you realise that you're part of something bigger, that you've been tested, that through metrics of fitness, through reliability, through lethality, and friendship and mateship, and dependability, that you pass the test. Self-worth, it's a big thing, especially when it comes to mental health. The Army Reserve will give you a passport to the past, to the footsteps of the Anzacs. Kokoda, they saved the day, saved Australia. When you pledge through oath or affirmation to serve this country from enemies, both domestic and abroad, I think we've got a few more domestically than I'd like to imagine, you are now tied to the traditions of Australia. The forgotten memories, footsteps that were taken by the Anzacs, and now it's your job to re-illuminate them on Anzac Day, Remembrance Day. It's also time to illuminate your family name. Give that some pride, some respect. Allow those in your area of influence to let others know that my family member serves, is serving, has served with honour. And what about the tax-free money, finances, opportunities that come with service? That is a 
topic we don't normally talk about, but it's fantastic. Imagine if you pledge to your family, I give my time, my spare time, some of it, to Army Reserve to get that life balance, that sense of purpose. But in turn, I am going to take the stresses from the family by this hack, by this alternate monetary source. We can save it up and we can spend it on a holiday. I'll do the work, you have the pleasure. It might pay for education, for music lessons, for sports. It could go on a yearly holiday that just takes away the stress and reminds you there's more important things than working and existing from the lounge room. And it's definitely a stress reliever when you've got the bills covered. Well done, Dad. Thanks for providing. Or Mum. Imagine the doors it opens through other like-minded people that have followed your adventure, taken the initiative to join the Army Reserve, and then you realise the guy to your left is a cop, the guy to your right is a lawyer. Okay, then you've got tradies, then you've got accountants, you name it. What do you bring to the table? Let me know in comments. In hard times, men step up. We're getting close to hard times. Let's step up before you're asked to. National service, we should have it now. Let's save this society before it slips into the dumpster. So why do people join the Army Reserve? Is it because they wanted to when they were younger? but it slipped away and this is their last time. The clock is ticking, so to speak. I'm not talking about women's biological clock here. To all of those that are serving, I'd like to also lift a cup to you because when you sign the application and then give the oath or affirmation, you don't know what the future holds for you domestically or abroad, whether it be in flood relief, whether it be potentially in combat, your signature's down, you can be called upon. Gap year. You know, what quicker way to get into the Army Reserve fully qualified than one year gap year, and then that can become a side hustle as you go into your education or police force or trade. It's a win-win. It's a win-win for you. It's a win-win for your family. It's a win-win for your civilian employer. Just do it. Da -na 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 -na. So how can this be a curse then, Kaz? What are you talking about? You can get addicted. Once the fuse is lit, this can be the place of parade you want to be your daily. Especially when you become qualified, proficient, become part of that team, that brotherhood. Responsibility for your fitness, for your love handles, for your weapon, and for your brother's back. Not in a Navy kind of way. You could be taking time away from your family. You could be taking time away from your studies, but in return, you're getting paid to be fit. You're getting paid to live life, to have adventure, to have conversations, experiences, self-illuminating lessons. It's a curse because it can be so goddamn good. Especially when it starts to make a difference to your life. Fitness, capability, brotherhood. Had to turn your back on that. That becomes the new you. It could be a curse. Don't let it take over your mission. If you want full commitment, join the regular army. Otherwise, balance it out. Or it can, in fact, become a curse. And we know people who are watching right now that the curse is real. Isn't it, k Dog? Just be careful. It'll take over. You're everything. You won't get this life once, so live it. Even if it is part-time. So as Australians are getting fatter, more sedentary, and more stressed, why don't you do something for yourself and join the Army Reserve? Stop the slide. Yep, that's all.